storms to alert you first. This is KIMT Storm Team 3, weather coverage you can count on. Welcome back. Joining us now is Storm Team 3 meteorologist Travis Clark Smith, who taught us a new phrase, a ho-hum Sunday, which means hot and humid. Yes, yeah, Sananda, that's, we're going to be dealing with a couple of ho-hum days <laughs> tomorrow and again on Monday before we're going to start to see some changes, so looking forward to that. But we are still tracking the potential for some more storms before we get to those more comfortable days. Now, before those storms rolled through our area earlier this afternoon, temperatures were well into the upper 80s with high temperatures reaching at 86 here in Rochester, 88 in Dodge Center, Albert Lee, Austin, Mason City, Charles City, and even 90 degrees in Owatonna. Tomorrow is going to be even warmer with many of us hitting that 90 degree mark. Currently though, temperatures are in the upper 60s to the lower 70s to even 80 degrees still in Mason City where they May, mainly avoided those storms that passed through earlier this evening. But look at these dew points. Anytime you get above 65 degrees, that's a lot of moisture in the air. 68 in Austin, 76 in Mason City. So still a lot of juice in the atmosphere for any storms that could develop. So that's why we're watching those storms up to our north passing through overnight tonight. So severe weather chances. Today we were in a level two risk for severe weather. Tomorrow we're gonna get a little bit of a break. Uh, storm chances are gonna be a little bit lower, but any storms that do develop could be a little strong. So we do have a level one risk in place for the entire area for Sunday. And then on Monday, we go back up to a level two for most of the area as we are expecting another round of showers and storms on Monday before we see a little bit of a break and those temperatures returning back to the mid 70s. Now here's another look again at those storms that passed through earlier this evening. Those storms have gone well down into northeastern Iowa and passing even further into Wisconsin. But we did have a few severe weather reports. We did have a confirmed tornado in southeastern Rice County and we were on the air for that. We also saw some uh, wind reports around the Rochester International Airport around 81 miles per hour right before seven o'clock. And then in Fillmore County in Cummingsville, we had a 74 mile per hour wind gust right at seven o'clock this evening. Tracking things out hour by hour, you can see those storms moving away at this hour. And as we go through the next several hours, we have another round and that was those storms further up to the north. Those are expected to pass through our region between about 4 and 6 a.m. before we get another nice break from the rain. But Sunday is going to be very, very hot. Temperatures up in the upper 80s to around 90 degrees. And then we have another round of showers and thunderstorms coming through on Monday. So taking a look at those temperatures and dew points. Yeah, we've, we're looking at mid 70s for dew points for tomorrow and Monday. So it is going to be very sticky and uncomfortable. But as we go through the rest of the work week, Things are looking really good as we cool back down to much more comfortable levels. 70 degrees overnight tonight with more scattered thunderstorms. Some of those could be strong to severe tonight. 90 degrees for tomorrow, partly cloudy skies. Winds out of the northwest around 10 miles per hour. And here's a look at that seven day forecast where your weekend is always in view. Getting back down to much nicer temperatures for the middle of next week, Sananda. Looking forward to that. 